Hello, and welcome to Camcorder Nonsense. Once again, I've had to go up because I have too many things in this room and nowhere to go with anything. Today, I'd like to talk with you about TriStar International's MASH. The television show goes off in 1983, and for some reason, MASH decides to release action figures the year before. I love the MASH TV show. No one else likes it but me. I expect the views on this video to be very, very low. Probably offending one of the two viewers I have. I being the other viewer, of course. Then let's skip the MASH TriStar toys and make a poster. Hello. Here you can see where I'm beginning the uh, artwork for the most beautiful MacGyver poster ever made. I'm using hot glue to put on these DVD slipcase sheets that I've cut, making little hearts of Richard Dean Anderson. It's nice because his hair is usually, like that's part in the side, but here he's got the uh, part in the middle that helps to figure out the heart because after a while making these is frustrating and annoying. <laughs> Look at this one. Guy Liner. This, they did something to him. There is Richard Dean Anderson. There is rock star Richard Dean Anderson. My wife thinks that I need to go back to work. I'm homesick. I will not be uh, showering you with the details. But I have to have something to do. I'm being driven insane. Let's see how far this progresses. <laughs> or my wife says, get out. I'm also flipping the image over so that I can get an idea of the silhouette shape to start the heart. Because what I've been doing is trying to follow just the basic face down to the neck. Down to the neckline of the shirt. I don't make the most perfect hearts, probably because I hate cutting these hearts out. And this joke is not going like I thought it was going to go. The hot glue does not seem to be harming the picture, but it is hurting the pads in my fingers. And I can't get to it fast enough to do this. I'll just put this out, this brayer out to make it look like I know what I'm doing. There. I'll delete the last part I said. You know, this kind of reminds me of a story about MacGyver, which would revolve around maybe the third or fourth time that I had just gotten out of prison for making celebrity heart collages. I remember in uh, seventh grade, I had a, a principal named Mr. Schwartz. I think it was seventh grade, might have been eighth, but the guy scared the crap out of me. He scared the crap out of a lot of people, I think. And he wasn't really uh, what do you call it? approachable and he had this wandering eye that helped to add to it and he was very professional and march around in his dress clothes and look at all the kids weird and yell I remember him saying hey you get over get over get over against the wall and I'm stepping out of line in a line of kids so that I can look to see who's not listening and who's about to get in trouble but I couldn't tell because of his wandering eye it was me I was going to get in trouble which I did. I was always getting sent to the office by that guy. One time I saw him at the flea market and he was buying Boris the Bear comic books. And he said, oh, hey, you collect comic books? I said, yeah. He wanted to know what I liked. And I said, it was Spider-Man. He said, did you ever look at Boris the Bear? And I said, no. And it was, I think it was Blackthorn Publishing and it was just too expensive for me to handle giving it a chance. He gave me a copy at the school. He called me into the office and gave me a copy to borrow and I had to return it. And he trusted me with that comic book. Then later on, I would get called to the office a lot to talk to that guy. And it would always be something like the teacher, you know, you know like the teacher gets a note and I'd have to leave. I remember the person's name was Mr. Ripley's class. I was always leaving during Mr. Ripley's class, which was another class I was getting in trouble. Hey, shut the door. Come in and have a seat. And then he'd open up his desk drawer, and I thought that I was instantly in trouble. And he'd pull out a comic book or two and be like, look what I got. <laughs> and he would talk to me about comic books all the time. It was awesome. And then one day, I had done something right. I'd won a prize. The teacher told me to go down to the office and get whatever it was. I remember posters, and I think there was two or three other things, like candy or school supplies with something on it. And that guy had a bunch of posters, I cashed it in, and I could they were rolled up, they were in plastic, and I could only read the very end of them. And I'm sure there was stuff like Lamborghinis, or uh, maybe a 
female poster or something like that, singer, male singers. I picked MacGyver. And he went, what? And I was like, yeah, MacGyver. I didn't know what it looked like. I had no idea what the MacGyver poster looked like. I just was like, oh, you know, it, it could be Batman. Batman? I gotta have a Batman poster. MacGyver, my hero. And he's like, you you want a MacGyver poster? Are you, are you sure about this? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get the impression that he was thinking, oh, he has a crush on Mikhail. <laughs> Don't look at this when I say that. A pretty good experience for an awkward kid who didn't get along very well in school to have the principal come and share comic books with you and make sure you got the only MacGyver poster that was available in a basket. Do we have glitter? What about bedazzle stuff? What do you say? <laughs> But I need it for my most awesome MacGyver poster. <laughs> I don't think she wants anything to do with this. A lot of my MacGyvers, the ears have been removed because hearts don't have ears. Holy man, MacGyver. Look at this. What is, <laughs> what's happening there? Run, MacGyver. Show us how to run. I'm a grasshopper. Senior MacGyver, someone is making heart shapes out of you. What? I remember this episode, that's when MacGyver couldn't poop. But that was only because when he was little, he was never shown how to remove his pants. And then suddenly he could. All right, I think it's done. I've run out of images to uh, be disgusting with. What are you doing over there? That's potential MacGyver poster material that you're messing with. It needed an explosion and maybe um, some pre-made construction paper hearts behind each heart. But I'm going to call it done. Well, I can't cut heart shapes. You need me? I don't want to. It's really the problem. Yeah, because who would want to cut heart shapes of MacGyver? It's supposed to be funny, but it's annoying me. Sweetheart, this is something special.